Hey guys, how's your uh, day going so far? I wanted to talk to you today about um, avatars, right? The ideal customer, the avatar, and all that kind of stuff. Do you have an anti-avatar? And here's the reason I'm asking you this, because um, it's important to realize who it is that you really want to do work with and who you can do work with and who you can make, who you can really help, right? We all know those, um, the avatar, you know, stuff that we do. And when I'm doing any coaching, and whether this is for online businesses or entrepreneurs who want to build their business or anything like that, there, we, I always start with the not the, the negative list or the not to do list or the who don't I want list or who can't I help list. Um, what don't I want in my life type of thing, right? Because those are easy to really figure out. When I'm working with entrepreneurs who want to work, who build their business, uh, I've got too much going on and all this other kind of stuff. And I ask them, you know, instead of asking them, what do they want? Where do they want to go? I say, what don't you want? Right? And, and they, they can list a whole bunch of stuff out very simply. And so it's the same thing. And even when I'm looking at the avatars and I'm helping people really define who it is, who they can work with and why they should be working with those people, I ask them, who are the people who you absolutely don't want to work with, right? And it's a lot easier for people to list those traits out. And so I suggest you do the same thing because it will really get, help you define who it is the, uh, that is that person that you can work with and who you want to work with. I think that's really important are to get people in your business that you really like to work with, right? Why would you just want to work with people who you don't? So the first thing that I would suggest that you do is make a list of people and their traits, not like don't, don't name people, but you know, um, is make a list uh, on the traits and the, the things that you just doesn't gel with you doesn't you don't get along with that and what you don't want in your customer in your ideal customer and I see this constantly I go in I'm, I'm helping in groups I see things in threads I uh, when I go in forums I see how people are responding and what their mindset is and all this other kind of stuff and the things that just don't resonate with me or I imagine myself in front of that person trying to convince them or switch their mindset to a completely different thing and uh, imagining how much energy it would take or stress on me or whatever, I say, ooh, I just, I just don't wanna deal with that. Then I copy and paste that kind of stuff and those traits and whatever those mindset and I put it into a little document for my own, my own thing, nobody sees it, right? And I go, these are the people who I do not wanna work with. And it allows me to get laser focused on who I can help the mindsets and all that stuff that um, I wanna deal with. So there's a little tip for you. Do you have an anti-avatar? When you create your anti-avatar, then it'll give you clarity on the avatar, who it is that you really wanna work with, okay? Hopefully this helped you out. If you did, please share it with somebody and maybe they can make their anti-avatar list as well. Comment below, let me uh, know if you are doing your anti-avatar or if you have any other questions regarding your business and I can uh, answer and try to help you out, all right? Have a good day.